Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is all about contraction pain. Now I know many of you are concerned and you want to know what contraction pain feels like. Well, you've stumbled upon the right place because I am here to tell you from personal experience what contraction pains feel like, what you can do about it, and what will happen when you get contractions. My name is Sweeta, I'm a registered nurse in the LA area and I'm here to share my new mommyhood experience with you all. I hope you enjoy my video and if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to my page, hit that bell icon and continue watching. Let's jump right into it. So basically, when you get a contraction, the end result is delivering your baby. So just remember that. Labor contractions are the physical way that your uterus tightens to promote the delivery of the baby. And all your body muscles are tightening at that point, your back, your pelvis, your joints, in order to get your entire body prepared to have your baby come out naturally, down, down through your cervix and out of your vagina. I'm not sure if you know this, but the uterus is actually one of the most strongest muscles in your body. So your uterus will be doing all that hard work in order to push that baby out. So get ready for what contraction pains feel like now. <laughs> you don't know what labor contractions feel like, if you've never given birth, if you're a first time mom, then let me tell you what labor contractions are. So they, so let me tell you what labor contractions feel like. So first of all, they start from anywhere from your stomach, your pelvis, or even your back. And it just radiates all over, like, like a 360 degree kind of a spin. So once it starts from your top of your stomach where your baby is, you can feel it down your pelvis where you usually feel your period cramps radiating towards your back where you probably get your low back pains during your period. All, all this pain can tighten and sharpen with intensity as your labor progresses as the baby is trying to come out. So no matter what stage you are in your pregnancy, if you're feeling these kinds of pains, you must call your doctor right away and get medical treatment, okay? Don't wait wait at home, don't do the, cap, the app counter, just call your doctor right away to get further advice. So these labor contractions can make your entire body feel rock hard, you cannot talk, you cannot move, you just feel like screaming, and especially if the intensity is really high and you're literally like a day before giving birth. Contractions can last anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, so get ready for this pain, guys. <laughs> so basically what's happening is uh, the hormone oxytocin is stimulating your whole body, to, especially your uterus, to uh, get that baby moving, pushing out of your uterus. As your labor progresses, your contractions will last longer, get more intense, and come closer together. So when I personally felt contractions for the first time, it was just like a mild period cramp. I was... I was like, oh, this is nothing. This is a walk in the park. I'm going to be fine. But as the hours went by, the contractions got so bad. That pain, that productive pain was intense. And I couldn't even walk. I couldn't talk. I was curled up. I was curled up in that hospital bed like no other. And just moaning and crying and just trying to get through it. So when do contractions start? Well, typically they're supposed to start anywhere after your bo your baby is full term, which is around 37 weeks. But if you do experience contractions before the 37 week mark, please contact your doctor right away because this can mean preterm contractions and you need medical attention for that as soon as possible. You may also feel something called Braxton Hicks contractions, which are practice contractions, which don't end up uh, with you going into labor and having your baby. It's just your body's way of getting your uterus and your pelvis prepared for your pushing your baby when the day comes. But again, call your doctor if you feel like you're having real contractions and compare the Braxton Hicks contractions with real contractions and talk to your doctor about them during your prenatal appointment so you know what to look for. Because Braxton Hicks do not progress. They don't get more intense. They usually go away when you walk around or drink some water or lay on your side. So kind of keep that in mind when you're experiencing pain or pressure down there and do these things to help you. <clears throat> so when a contraction is approaching, what you want to do, if you're not at the hospital yet, if you're at home, you want to take a deep breath, hold it, two, three, four, and then let it go. This deep breathing technique will help get your body as much oxygen needed to your uterus in order for you to fully expand the oxygen and for your uterus to reach its maximum potential so that you're not feeling as intense pain. So now you know what labor contractions feel like. They are a hundred times worse than period cramps. They get more intense by the hour. They get The timing is more close together. So for example, if you had one 
five minutes ago, you'll have another one in five minutes and another one in five minutes. They are very close together. They're very frequent. So make sure you kind of watch for that. Your pain will get more intense. You won't be able to walk or talk or eat or you won't be able to t- or you won't be able to feel like yourself. You just feel like something is bothering you all over your stomach and your back and you need to get the labor going. So this is what you want to watch out for. You want to do deep breathing techniques. Something I demonstrated is the most simple one that you can do it at home or in the car on your way to the hospital or even in the hospital bed. It'll just get you maximum oxygen to your uterus to help you with all that pain. And the ultimate goal is for you to have your baby. So I wish you the best of luck during your labor. If you need pain medicine or an epidural, definitely talk to your doctor about that. That can help you with your pain. And I want to thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys.